Hi, I'm Jonathan Lopez. And I'm Neptili Montes. And, and you're, you're watching, watching In the, the News at CHS. Thinking about those dusty rhyming days when it was all just fun and games. Never had a care in the world. When did it all begin to change? Go back to the merry-go-round. Laughing and acting like clowns. Stay in this moment till we see the sun go down. <laughs> I treasure your heart of gold. I'll be your shadow when you feel alone Cause nothing changes when I'm on the road To find you happy, gotta lose control If the time between us gets a little uneven Don't you worry, cause you will find me here Never broke a promise, never been dishonest Don't you worry, cause you will find me here Oh, oh, yeah. Cause find me, find me Over the weekend, the citizens of Kalinga celebrated the arrival of fall by attending the annual Kalinga Fest. This is a yearly event held by the Kalinga Chamber of Commerce. People are eager to go and see the vendors, the car show, live entertainment, and among that, many other things. Let's catch up with field reporter Marlene Rodriguez to hear more about it. Hi, I'm Marlene Rodriguez with the News at CHS here at the Kalinga Fest with Allison Schwartz. So Allison, what's your favorite thing about the Kalinga Fest? Um, I think that it's really fun coming out here to perform and watching all the other schools perform. Okay, and what's your favorite, what was your, the favorite thing you saw today? Um, I really liked the Kalinga High School cheerleaders and the drama club. Okay, and there's an, is there anything else that you're going to be doing here at the Kalinga Fest? Um, eating food. <laughs> okay, thank you, Allison. Thank you. And now I'm here with Julian Sandoval. So, Julian, what's your favorite thing about the Kalinga Fest? Probably the food. Okay, um, what kind of food do you get here? Uh, the tacos, they're really good. Okay, and why did you come to the Kalinga Fest? I came because I had to perform with drama, so for our dance curtains, so yeah. Okay, and what else are you going to be doing here? Uh, I'm probably going to leave soon, just get some food and leave. Okay, thank you, Julian. Back to you guys in the studio. Monday will be Millionaire Monday. Students are encouraged to dress up like millionaires. Tuesday is Team USA. Dress up in your patriotic style that represents the good old U.S. of A. Wednesday is Workout Wednesday, Thursday is Fashion Disaster, and we end off with Orange and Black Day. Show your school spirit the following week and come out and have some fun. That's right, JLo. ASB has put a lot of time and effort into making homecoming a special week for everyone. Also, if you are interested in helping out with your class homecoming float building, head out to the bus garage starting on, starting on Saturday at 4. They will be float building every day next week after school at 4 p.m. Now, to get to know the homecoming court for this year, we had field reporter Idalia Cruz ask the nominees a series of questions. She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down 75 degrees in a dope sound All you need to live fine, to live fine A little sunshine cause she Hi, I'm Idalia Cruz here within the news at CHS talking to Queen nominee Devery Pena. So Devery, would you rather eat a jar full of toast for $300 or would you eat a baby rat for $5? Um, do I have to choose one? Yes. I would choose, well, $300 obviously, like toes, like, <laughs> yeah, like for sure, yeah, toes, toes, yeah. Okay, thank you. So oh, Karina, mustache or beard? Beard? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm here with King nominee Michael Cabral. If your life was a movie, which actor would you play? Probably Mark Wahlberg. Why? Because he's just a really good actor and I feel like he presents himself pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm here with Princess nominee Bella Diaz. So Bella, if you could vote for anyone on the court, who would you vote for? 
Um, if I could vote for anyone on the court, I'd probably vote for... Wait, like Princess Court or Prince? Anyone. Um, Karina Duran or Xavier Escobar? Probably. Thank you. Now I'm here with King nominee Xavier Cayetano. So, why aren't blueberries blue? Why aren't blue? Why aren't blue? What? Wait, what? <laughs> why aren't blueberries blue? They are blue, aren't they? Are they? I mean, that's why they have blueberries. Right? They have blueberries. They would just be berries if they weren't blue. You feel me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm here with Princess nominee Jasmine Frere. So, Jasmine, would you rather live on the sun for five years or on or in a cave for 25 years? Uh, I would rather live in a cave for 25 years. Why? Because you could die in the sun. <laughs> and now I'm here with Prince nominee Dominic Hernandez. So, Dom. Hillary or Trump? Um, I'd say Trump. Okay. <laughs> now I'm here with Princess nominee Lexi Cardenas. So Lexi, iPhone or Android? What did you say? iPhone. Why? I don't know. I like their emojis. Okay, thank you. And now I'm here with Queen nominee Giselle Sa. So Giselle, red or blue? Blue. Nuggets or fries? Ooh, fries. McDonald's or in and out In and out Good question. Now I'm here with King nominee Kyle Hedgecock. So Kyle, will you remember me in a year? Yeah. yeah. Will you remember me in a month? Yeah. In a week? No, I won't. Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? So you already forgot about me. <laughs> I'm here with King nominee Jimmy Juarez. So Jimmy. <laughs> How long are your toes? What the heck? Seriously, don't ask me that. <laughs> Now I'm here with Prince nominee Jaden Jimenez. So Jaden, what rhymes with orange? Door hinge. What rhymes with banana? Banana. Apple? Um, grapple. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm here with Prince nominee Xavier Escobar. So, who's the real Xavier? Me. Is that true? That's, that's false. And we'll see. <laughs> now I'm here with King nominee Myra Ramirez. So Myra, if you were three emojis, which ones would you be? I would be the smiley face, the the fire emoji. Why? Um, because <laughs> why not? No, cause I'm hot there. <laughs> and what would be the last one? The princess emoji. Thank you. Thanks, Idalia. On a different note, a lot of students have been getting really sick lately. Yeah, I too have been noticing that a lot more students have been heading into the nurse's office during the day or have had to miss classes due to an illness. It seems like it happens every year around this time with the changing weather. It is recommended that students should take precautions to prevent spreading the illness for the safety of others. Hi, I'm Callie Walker from the News at CHS and I'm here talking to Nurse Viviana. So, what kind of sicknesses have you been seeing so far? The main sicknesses that I've been seeing from the students are mainly allergies and cold symptoms. Okay, and how can you prevent these? Allergies, well, it it's a lot because of where Kalinga is and the dust bowl, kind of, like they say. Um, you, take, you see your doctor, you take your medications, but a lot of times when you're walking out, if you walk to school, you need to make sure like you wash your face from allergens that could have been there, especially like the days they cut the grass, they're more severe. Um, that It's really hard to prevent allergies though when you have them. Yeah. But mainly, you know, you follow doc doctor's orders and stuff, but like washing yourself like at home, having your air condition on because it helps take the pollen and all the mold and dust out of your house too. Okay, and do you have any just like tips on how to stay healthy? Of course, having um, aerobic activity is good. Keeps your body strong, your immune system up, and eating healthy. And washing hands is the number one. It spreads germs. Don't touch your, touch your face. Don't, you know, keep your hands clean. <laughs> Thank you. Back to you guys at the studio. So remember to stay active and try to maintain a healthy diet to prevent spreading the cold. Will do, Natalie. Anyways, last Friday, the band had their first performance of the year. They had a recently impressive performance at the football game. 
Yeah, Mr. Moore and the students worked hard to get ready for the game. With their new instructor and more band students than ever, they had been preparing for this. Field reporter Fernando Dominguez got some interviews after their performance. Hi, I'm Fernando Dominguez with In The News at CHS here talking to Mr. Moore. So, Mr. Moore, what are some of the difficulties you faced as your first year here at Klinga High School? I learned the traditions of the school. I learned the traditions of the band. I already know some of them because one of the legendary band directors here, Tim Brewer, was a good friend of mine. So, um, it's basically one thing, build the band. Um, what have you seen from your team tonight and what do you expect from them throughout the season? What I've seen is a group of kids that want to be excellent. And we saw that tonight, even though we were here a little, little early, they stood at a rock solid parade rest for about 15 minutes and they did not clinch and they did not move. And that is a sign of a band that's going places. And as far as I'm concerned, we're going to continue to grow the band. We're going to continue to uh, not only get bigger, but get higher quality. And you're going to hear some cool stuff out of this band. There is more to come. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Uh, now I'm here with Victoria Baez. So, Victoria, as the band major, what does the job entitle? Um, it entitles you to have a lot of responsibility in making sure things go according to how they're supposed to. And it also involves you respecting your band just as much as they respect you. So, thank you, band. Uh, I heard you guys recently got new uniforms. Uh, are you excited for that? What are your opinions on that? I think they look really great, so I can't wait till you guys see them because they look really good, and I can't wait to wear them. Uh, as your final year in band comes to a close, or my mistake uh, begins, what are your expectations and what are the memories you want to make? Well, I want to first of all, I want to get to know the new members and learn each one of their names, and I just want to make a lot of memories. But I'm just really happy to have this opportunity to be in band and become a better musician with the rest of the band. Thank you, Victoria. Now back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Fernie. And now let's head over to Gabby Paredes for this week's Horn Toad Highlight. So, Gabby, what's going on with sports? Hi, guys. So last Thursday, tennis had an away game at Fowler. They fought hard but ended up losing with a score of 4-5. to five. Today, they play Fireball at home. Go out and support our Lady Toads. We wish them luck. And what about volleyball? Last Thursday, volleyball girls played an away game against Tranquility and won. Today, they play against Avenel at home. Awesome! How about football? Well, J-Lo, football played against Kingsburg on Friday. The boys played hard, but it wasn't enough to secure the win. We had field reporter Fernando Silva go to catch us up on the thoughts of the game from the football players. Hi, I'm Fernando Silva in the news at CHS, and I'm here with Jaden Jimenez and Brian Loetta. So, how, how do you think you guys did this um, game? Uh, you know, we didn't play to our full potential by far. We're, we're a much better team than what we showed. And, you know, we have a lot to work on coming up. Interesting. So uh, what do you think you guys need to work on for the next game? Uh, we just got to work on coming in together as a team and trying to focus, man. I mean, every, everybody has a job, and we just need to do it. We're all a team. We all make mistakes. But you know what? You can't stop a team that comes together. You can't stop the family. All right. Uh, and how do you guys think you'll do next game? We're going to win. Thanks, Fernando. And to conclude, Cross Country has been having a successful season so far. Last Friday, the runners traveled to Visalia for a meet. Thanks, Gabby. Now we have two short announcements for the following episodes. Not this episode, but the next one after. In the news, we'll be having an Easter egg hunt in our episodes. The objective of the game is to spot the toad, which is hidden practically anywhere in the episode. If you do happen to find it and are the first, go up to Mikey Canales to claim your prize. But some other rules to the game. You have to show proof that you have subscribed to the In The News channel. And for the next announcement, we are happy to reveal a new segment called Ask ITN. It will be a short segment that covers any questions you might have for us. We will try our best to answer as many questions as possible and could be related to Anchor specifically or to sh the show itself. And as long as they are appropriate, we will answer them. Just go on Twitter and ask your questions, followed with hashtag Ask ITN. That's it for this week's episode. Now remember, if it's important, it's, it's in, in the, the news, news at CHS. CHS.